Frying Pan of Destiny is a cool little easter egg, but it really isn't worth your time. Not unless there is a way to upgrade it that I've just missed. So mild spoilers, although I'll be vague, there is a mission towards the end where you've got to go into a big, big complex and maybe face off against a certain general. In this complex, you'll find a room. Now you should be able to do it while you're doing that actual mission. Otherwise, afterwards you can revisit the complex and do it then. The benefit is that there'll be less water for you to swim in. You should be really thinking about getting this a bit later in the game, but by then, pan's kind of useless. But anyhow, get on top of the actual complex. Or if you have somehow ran all the way here, you can get in from the ground, but you're just going to have to work your way pretty much all the way to the top. You'll come to this junction here with the furnace or the big canister on the right and you usually come up these stairs. Then just head up these stairs instead and make sure you put your light on so everyone else can see and follow the corridors round. You'll get to this strange room with a cockerel in the corner cooing. Turns like out he is the reason that the really virus too. exists. They bought it from space and they are indeed space cocks. He'll give you a few dialogue choices, it doesn't matter what you choose, he's going to give you the location of the key to his spaceship. So once you're done speaking to him, you'll realise it's just south of where you are in the horrible sunken lands. You can pretty much just go back across the big bridge that he came in and you took on the general in the early part of the game. At this point it's obviously advised that you don't do this until you've taken on the general itself, don't just go wandering over it. Keep going to the edge of the motorway and then simply just do a jump off and use your paraglider. You really don't want to be messing around down here. If you haven't realised by now, this area is filled with exploding Zeds and they are extremely dangerous. Only a few of them it takes to knock you out or kill you completely. And yeah, they can come out everywhere on the rooftops. They're no joke. So hopefully there won't be too many around you. You have got normal Zeds as well. And be careful because it is an infection zone here too. So thin some out if you need to, and then once that's safe, you can go ahead and break into the space car or spaceship. Now, you can do this while this area is underwater. You'll just need to swim quite a distance and then go underneath. Although, thank lords, you don't have to actually get any lock picking done here. So once you've got it, that's it. You can start heading back. Little FYI, you may notice there is a drop ship parachute nearby and you're going to think that maybe it's got the chest you need to go and get some tech but it hasn't it's just got some random gear in it but no actual mini tech although these can be quite high level i've shown you another video how i got a level nine piece of weaponry when i was only level four because i actually got one of these crates anywho head back to the chicken and he's going to pretty much ask you to come with him and you can choose yes or no again it doesn't matter once he's gone, he'll give you the blueprint to craft and make your own frying pan of destiny. Again, like some of the other jokey easter egg stuff, it costs 369 junk to craft, so obviously not very cheap at all. And it does pop up that you can go ahead and upgrade it, but at this craft master anyway, there was no option to. So, I don't know. Anyone knows the answer to that, let me know. Maybe you can take it to other settlements or it's got to be more advanced. I'm not sure. But yeah, it doesn't do much damage. So, at the moment, it's just not really worth it that much. Although it can stun and disorientate a lot of the Zeds. And then you can move in for the kill with whatever melee weapon you've got. You can also use it to trigger stuff like fire hydrants as well. Although be warned, when I tried using it on a mine, in a minefield, it absolutely bricked my game, crashed, and I had to restart. So there we go. I'm sure there might be a way to upgrade it, or maybe it was just a glitch in my game. Let me know, like I said, and maybe it'll be a much more useful in the future. I've done a whole bunch of other Easter egg guides. Go and check them all out, tips and more. I'll see you at Bags later.